a lot of people don't realize that their children are a direct reflection of their leadership. Today, we're talking about passive versus assertive parenting. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I want to encourage men and women, you know, maybe you're a, a single parent, a single father, maybe you're a single mother. Maybe, you know, you're raising kids in a two-parent household and you still find it, you know, a struggle. You know, man, it wasn't, you know, until having about 10 years, you know, in the military before I understood the concept of somebody being a direct reflection of your leadership. And this is about what you're teaching your kids, uh, how you govern your household. And I'll tell you this, there's a lot of a lot of men and women out there that know that they have sorry kids, especially in the realm of, uh, uh, of girls and boys. These girls and boys is lazy. Don't have a work ethic. They dirty, you know, and I'm giving you an example. That is a direct reflection of your leadership as a parent. And Oftentimes, it's these kids that get rewarded, you know, get all of this material stuff when their behavior, their character, you know, their value system, their morals, how they conduct themselves is not being groomed because the parents aren't focused on it. You know, kids will only do what they are allowed to get away with. So where you don't provide any guidance, they're gonna create a standard which benefits them and it's gonna stress you out. You see what I'm saying? A lot of these kids need to be taught some old fashioned lessons uh, of, of washing dishes. Chores ain't never hurt no child. You got a lot of these adults, uh, you know, that don't wanna spend the time and children are an investment. You have to invest the time in it. And here's another thing. We all know that when we get to the checkout in the store, there's always that candy. Now, passive parenting is no, you can't afford that or no, you don't want your kid to have that. But they, through your passivity, persuade you and nag you into doing this stuff and buying this stuff. Well, you know, I want some shoes. You got, you got teenage boys and girls that will nag their mama and daddy to spend money that they don't have. That's passive parenting. You know, there's gonna come a point in time that if you've allowed this conduct to go on, being assertive is gonna be very hard for you because you have coddled your child. You know, I don't even, there was once a point, even with my step stepsons, I was like, man, you know, uh, I stopped, I had to stop asking them, did they want to do stuff to help out and start commanding? No, we're going to wake up and we're going to go pour some concrete. We're going to wake up uh, and we're going to build this fence. We got 50 fence poles we got to put out there and passivity was, hey, y'all want to help? And I'm telling you, you're not going to get anywhere like that. You think that a child is going to the volunteer to get up and wash the dishes? You think a child is gonna volunteer to get up and put their clothes in the washer and dryer? You think a child is gonna volunteer to, to clean up their own pissy toilet? No, they're not. Your, your, your daughters, they're not gonna volunteer uh, to learn how to cook. 
They just gonna sit that ass at the table and say, what are we eating? What's for dinner today? I don't like that. See, when you put the onus on them and start being assertive, hey, at, 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 at four o'clock, we gonna start preparing dinner. You gonna learn how to chop these onions. You gonna do this. That way, if the meal suck, hey, they was part of it. I'm telling you, man, you got to think, uh, men that grow up to be good fathers and good husbands, you know, had to get groomed somewhere. You know, the same thing with women that grew up to be great wives. That, that, that grooming just didn't start from when they was 18 and they got into a relationship or whenever they got married. No, that had to be cultivated. When you see uh, young men and women with a great work ethic, that had to be cultivated through assertive parenting. There's going to be some conversations, fathers and sons with your sons, where you're going to have to get on their ass. You're going to have to get on them. You know, because... Uh, a ch I, I'll tell you this as a drill sergeant, man, you know, as a drill sergeant, passive drill sergeants, they never succeeded. They always had problems. But if you were assertive, nobody tried to take advantage of you because they knew that they couldn't get over on you. And you have the people that when it's time to go get chow and go get meals, ain't nothing wrong with them. But when it's time to go to work, they stomach hurt, they sick, they got a headache, my back, my neck. Assertive parenting is often about calling bullshit on some of this stuff. No, you mean to tell me you was in there playing video games for four hours and, uh, you know, when I say we got you got to take out that trash, all of a sudden you need to go to the hospital. You have to be able to call bullshit. You know, uh, assertive parenting is kicking it gun barrel straight, straight up the middle with your children. You got kids out here. Uh, that know that they're going to go on a summer vacation, uh, a nice, lavish summer vacation while they bullshit their way through the school year. Make C's and D's, damn near getting held back. And this is the kind of, this is the kind of, of behavior that gets rewarded. Your, 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 your daughters, your sons, talk back. You got to nip that stuff in the bud as, as part of assertive parenting. When I'm talking, you shut the heck up. That's the reason why you 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 failed to do because you trying to tell me something when I'm the one giving God. Sometimes you have to tell your kids an assertive parenting. This is a one-way conversation. How old are you? How old am I? Shut the heck up and do what I do what I tell you to do. This is where this generation of children uh, is raised with a bunch of passive parents and they're not as responsible as we grew up being. You know, I grew up with my grandparents. My grandparents wasn't gonna tell you too many times to do something. Once, maybe twice. But if they had to tell you three times, you getting some doggone skin taken off that hot. And it was righteously so. My granddad was very firm when he talked to us. Now we're dealing with all these kids that are growing up to be passive because they're they're be they're they're being parented in a passive manner. You know, make your kids look you in the face when when you are talking to them. Don't let them sit around and roll their neck and have all these body convulsions. If you told them you was giving about to give them a hundred dollars and they ain't got to do shit for it, they wouldn't be having all them convulsions. This is the stuff that you have to nip in the bud that's gonna shape their uh, character and their future success and their future endeavors. You got to understand, man, when, 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 I, when I came up and we was getting school clothes, my grandma didn't say, you know, I got $200 to spend and this is what you getting for, you You got to get you. No, it wasn't none of that. My grandma got you what you needed. She didn't give a dang if you liked it or not. That's not what it was about. It was about necessities. You know, it, it, it's, it's right around the corner from back to school time and with a lot of children not living in a two-parent household, a lot of them being raised by single mothers, you cannot afford to be a passive single mother. It's painful. You tell your kids to do something, they act like they didn't hear you. They ignore you, go back to playing that damn game. Play that game. That's when you have to, that's when you have to get them jokers some books, make them work, make them pull their load, as far as cleaning up behind themselves, learning how to be mature adults, and then get them some books. Y'all ain't getting on this game. That game, that video game got to be a reward. Has to.
to be a reward. I'm telling you, this is how if more people start to uh, be assertive parents instead of passive, you won't have so many entitled children walking around here, spoiled brats. As adults, you know, ain't nobody going to give you nothing. You know, ain't nobody going to give you nothing for free. You got to work for it and you got to work hard. So why not embody that and teach your children that? Some people flat out refuse to do it. They continue to be a sir. I realized, man, I had two stepsons living with me. This is like my first year of marriage. Why am I asking them, do they want to help? No, nah, get y'all ass out here and help. When we go to the grocery store, uh, y'all be wanting to get all this food and make sure I, I do, do what I'm supposed to do. Y'all getting out here and help. But it's hot. Well, get them doggone hats over there on them shelves. Get them sombreros over there on them, hit them, them fishing caps. And we're going to get to work. And just when they think they about to get some slack, we're going to work some more. That way I know when they grow up and get out into the world, you know, that I've built them a good work ethic and they, they know how to take instruction. See, when you passively raise children, when they meet authority, they normally have a bad reaction to authority because you haven't dealt with them in an authoritative manner. You dealt with them and parented them in a manner to where it was like a negotiation. Well, what do you want to do? What do you want to eat? When do you want to clean up your room? When do you want to, when do you want me to wash your clothes? And that's all your kids know. So when somebody get on their case, whether it be their first job, you know, whether it be a teacher, if you've raised them in an assertive manner, you know, they know how to respond to authority and not uh, react out of their emotions to authority, thinking that, somebody, thinking that somebody's being mean to them. That's the difference between passive and assertive parenting. Close to the, close to the Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.